This is Mark Leapart, continuing on with the Big Fix Foundation series. In this section, I will be demoing Big Fix and patching of a Linux system. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off here in the patch management domain, and I'm going to open up the patch overview dashboard. And I'm going to select my site, my patches for CentOS. So now I get a really quick, easy view to see what's, do I have any critical patches? Uh, how many patches do I need? Do I have important patches, etc. It's a great little dashboard, very quick, very clean, and uh, gives you a great way just to look to see what's, what's out there. All right, so I know I have some patches out there. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to uh, decide, I'm just going to go look at my endpoint and I'm going to uh, take a look at it and see what it says it needs from the uh, site. So we're looking on our endpoint, we're drilling into relevant fixlets and tasks, and I'm going to look into the site patches for CentOS, and we'll sort by source severity. I see I've got 10 important patches out there. All right, uh, Firefox is always a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab Firefox and take a look at the description. Uh, we see it's 192 meg in size. There's a couple of CVEs that this uh, patch addresses. Uh, we look at the details. Again, uh, we're seeing uh, what the site is uh, for this patch. Uh, it comes from CentOS. It's 188 meg in size. These are the CVEs that it addresses, and it's listed as an important patch. So if we're looking at the relevance here, um, as we did in the previous deck, the relevant statements, remember, all have to be true. So relevant statement one is looking for the client. Uh, Bez client has got to be greater than 8.2 in some number, and the operating system has to start with Linux CentOS 7. That's true. Uh, relevant statement true. Uh, two, we're looking for a 64-bit architecture. Okay, that's true. And then the final bit of relevance, relevance three, we're looking for Firefox, the specific version of Firefox, uh, the architecture of the endpoint, and all of this is being pulled from the RPM database. Those are all true. Big fix can then you can decide to uh, take action. And with the, I mentioned earlier that with Linux and Unix actions, you have the ability to test. So uh, you can do a test deployment, and that'll just go out there and go through the motions of doing the test, talking to the RPM database, making sure that it, it can do that install. And uh, if it comes back complete, usually a pretty good indicator that you can install it. I'm going to go ahead and just install this patch. I select my target. Yes, this is offline, but I know it's up and running. And we click OK. And then it'll take whatever time it takes. Um, so, moving on. Uh, let's take a look at a baseline. So I have some baselines created here. Um, here's a basic uh, CentOS baseline. Uh, you can see that I have that same uh, Firefox patch in there. It's applicable to one computer. Let's look at the uh, details of it. So I'm going to pull up and I'm going to edit it. Um, always uh, use baseline when you're naming it, uh, just so you know that it's a baseline, uh, but your naming conventions may be different. So uh, use whatever your naming conventions are. Uh, the components. Dealing with a baseline, uh, remember that uh, Anything you put in the baseline, any of the components, everybody has to have a default action. If it doesn't have a default action, uh, then uh, you're going to get this warning that, hey, the baseline doesn't have a default action, and it's more than likely going to fail. So let's make sure we have the default action, and you click OK, and Big Fix will go out there and run all of these patches individually in sequence, and making one yum call per uh, object to install. All right. Multi baseline packages. So uh, remember, with multi baseline packages, uh, you have to bookend them. So you have the opening bookend is enable the multi package baseline installation feature. And it's for CentOS 7. There are multiples out there, so make sure you get the right OS. 
And then at the end of your baseline, uh, there is the multiple package baseline installation uh, object that you add in. And so this is the ending of the bookend. Uh, one other thing that you may want to uh, consider is adding the GPG key uh, to your first component group here. So make that the first thing that you do. Um, something else that I've learned uh, with dealing with uh, uh, patches and multi-package baselines in a world of uh, CentOS especially um, I didn't know this before, so I had to actually crack open the book and read why my multi-package baselines were failing. Um, let's look at this particular patch. We can see that this Java uh, has a vault and then some number pattern. Um, in the big fix docs for CentOS, CentOS uh, there is a line that says you can't use anything that starts with vault and some number. So if you try to put this into a multi-package baseline, uh, it's going to fail outright. It's not even going to try to do anything. It's just going to fail. So know that up front that you cannot have vault some number. Uh, in a multi-package baseline for sent us. Um, Red Hat doesn't have the same rule, but this is uh, just uh, something in the world of CentOS. So how do I do all of this inside the web UI? Well, let me open up the web UI and I'll show you. Okay, I have my web UI open and you're going to go into apps and you're going to look for custom and then we're going to look for custom content type and we're going to filter by baseline. So here's my two baselines and we can look at them. We can see that this particular baseline is our multi-package baseline and so you can just you know do the normal thing deploy that baseline and we've selected our target and we click next and I'm not going to make any changes here because I don't need to. And I'm going to go ahead and click Next and then deploy the patch. And then that'll take whatever time it takes for it to run. But that was a quick and easy overview of patching a Linux system and how you set up a baseline and how you set up a multi-package baseline. Have a good day.